Welcome to this tutorial video. The goal of this video is to show you how to create a new data. Creating a data will allow the user to create a new electronic file for a person who is responsible for the payment of the account. Dependents can be linked to a data. A new patient who has never visited the practice will always require a file to be opened. Once a new file has been opened, the user is able to capture transactions for the patient. There are two starting access points in order to create a new data. We will start off by looking at the first option which is creating a new data file using the data add feature on the diary sidebar. Click on the booking of the new patient to access the diary sidebar. The diary sidebar will open. For a comprehensive explanation of the sidebar's functionality, please refer to the data sidebar functionality user manual linked in this video's description. Please note that if the account icon of a new patient is highlighted black, it indicates that the patient does not have a file on the system of the practice yet. Also, when the data has not been created, the sidebar will have limited functionality. Click on the data add button to create a new data file. The data details screen will open. The details of the patient that was filled in when the booking was initially made will appear in the corresponding fields in the data and patient details sections. Please note that the above mentioned method will automatically add the data information to the patient section. For an extensive explanation on how to add dependence to the data account, please refer to the add new dependence user manual linked in this video's description. Next, we will look at how the user can create a new data file on the system without having to make a new booking. From the diary screen, click on the navigation wheel on the navigation bar. The navigation wheel will open. Click on the data segment. The data screen will open. Click on the new data button in the top right hand corner. The data detail screen will open. All the fields and the patient section will be empty. Please note that it is possible to import a data's information from the medical aid if they are a member. To see how to import a patient, please refer to the patient validation, dependent data, new data import and benefit check user manual linked in this video's description. The data details is all the personal demographic details of the person who is responsible for their account. Complete the relevant fields to select an appropriate option for each field. Fields marked with an asterisk are compulsory fields. For more information on how to make a field compulsory, please refer to the model validation user manual linked in this video's description. Data status indicates the current situation at a particular time during the practice flow process and allows the user to add a status to the data. Click on the select drop down menu to select an appropriate option. Please note that the options that are available will depend on the setup of the practice's preferences. For more information regarding data statuses, please refer to the data status user manual linked in this video's description. Debt number is the account number that will be linked to the person who is responsible for the account. The number will be generated by the system once the details have been saved. Data file number is the file number that is associated with the account holder's hard copy file. The data file number is a free text field that allows the user to add their own desired file number or a preset up field that will automatically allocate a file number according to a predetermined range. Default treating doctor is the practitioner who will treat the patient by default. Is the patient's preferred practitioner if the practice has multiple treating practitioners. Click on the default treating doctor field and start typing the name of the desired practitioner. Note that three characters are required before the list becomes available. Select the desired default treating practitioner on a drop down menu that will become available whilst typing to link a desired practitioner to the new data. Default referring doctor entails details of the practitioner that has referred the patient to the practice. Click on the default referring doctor field and start typing the name of the desired practitioner. Note that three characters are required before the list becomes available. Select the desired default referring doctor on the drop down menu that will become available whilst typing to link the desired practitioner to the new data. Click on the plus button to add a new practitioner to the previously set up referring practitioner list. To add a practitioner to the referring practitioner list, please refer to the add a referring doctor user manual linked in this video's description. Default Service Center is the place where the patient will consult with the practitioner by default unless changed. Click on the Default Service Center drop-down menu to select an appropriate option. 
Rooms means the appointment will by default take place at the practice. Hospital means the appointment will by default take place at the hospital. First name is the full names of the person who is responsible for the payment of the account as stated on their official identification documents. Surname is the last name of the person who is responsible for the account as stated on their official identification documents. ID type is the official document of identification that the person responsible for the account uses as identification. Click on the ID type drop down menu to select an appropriate option. RSA IDs is the official identification book or card issued in South Africa by the Department of Home Affairs. Passport is an international document that certifies the identity and nationality of a person. Other is any other form of identification, or if the person doesn't have their information available, or if the person is unable to provide information and their identification is unknown. ID number is the identification number on the chosen identification of the person who is responsible for the account. The ID should be between 6 and 13 digits depending on the ID type that has been selected. Gender is the medical related gender of the person that is responsible for the account. Click on the gender drop down menu to select an appropriate option. Unknown means it is not known what the person's medical related gender is. Male means the person has a male reproductive system. Female means the person has a female reproductive system. Title means to show the status or profession of the person who is responsible for the account. Click on the title drop down menu to select an appropriate option. Mr. is men who do not have another professional or academic title, regardless of marital status. Master is an unmarried man under the age of 18 who does not have another professional or academic title. Doctor is a medical or academic doctor with a PhD degree. Professor is a university academic with the highest degree. Reverend is an officially appointed religious leader. Germany is a religious leader of the Dutch Reformed Church. Mrs. is a married woman who does not have another professional or academic title. Miss is a woman who does not have another professional or academic title. Miss is an unmarried woman who does not have another professional or academic title. Initials is the first letter of each name of the person who is responsible for the account. The initials field will be completed automatically once the first names are entered. Cell phone number is the cellular or mobile number of the person who is responsible for the account. Cell phone numbers needs to have at least 10 digits to be valid. Hometel is a landline number that belongs to the person who is responsible for the account. Worktel is a telephone number associated with the place where the person who is responsible for the account is employed. Email is an electronic email address of the person who is responsible for the account. An email address will be validated using specific criteria such as an at sign. The email field will be highlighted red if the email is valid. VAT number is a value-added tax number for the person who is responsible for the account if they are registered for VAT. Language is the preferred language of communication of the person who is responsible for the account. The system will determine in which language to send out documentation and communication using the language preference selected as a reference. Click on the language drop-down menu to select an appropriate option. English means the person prefers all communication to be in English. Afrikaans means the person prefers all communication to be done in Afrikaans. Data type is the type of data that will determine how the person who is responsible for the accounts will be built. Click on the data type drop down menu to select an appropriate option. Normal is the person who is responsible for the account has medical aid or medical insurance. Private is the person who is responsible for the account does not have any form of medical insurance. 
IOD means there was an injury on duty whilst the person was on duty at the place of work. For an extensive explanation of how to add a new IOD data, please refer to the Create New IOD Data User Manual linked in this video's description. Medical Aid is the name of the company with who the person that is responsible for the account has medical insurance or medical aid. Click on the Medical Aid field and start typing the name of the desired medical aid. Only one character is required before the list becomes available. Select the desired medical aid on the drop down menu that will become available whilst typing to link the medical aid to the new data. Medical aid option is the name of the medical aid plan corresponding to the medical aid of the person who is responsible for the account. Click on the medical aid option and start typing the name of the desired medical aid option. Only one character is required before the list becomes available. Select the desired medical aid option on the drop down menu that will become available whilst typing to link the option to the new data. Medical aid is the medical aid membership number associated with the account of the person who is responsible for the account. Employer is the name of the person or company where the person who is responsible for the account is employed. Click on the employer field and start typing the name of the desired employer. The user must type at least three characters before the list becomes available. Select the desired employer on the drop down menu that will become available whilst typing to link the option to the new data. If the employer is not found, a new one will need to be created. Click on the plus button to add a new employer's information to the system that has not yet been added. For more information on how to add a new employer, please refer to the Create New Employer User Manual linked in this video's description. Next of kin is the closest living relative of the person who is responsible for the account, which can also be an emergency contact who is not related to the debtor. Next of kin tell is the contact number of the closest living relative or emergency contact person who is responsible for the account. Physical address is the permanent physical address where the person who is responsible for the account can be found or resides. Click on the first line of the physical address and start typing the desired address. Options will become available as the user types. These options will become more accurate the more information the user adds. Only one character is required for the list to appear. Select the desired option on the list that has become available whilst typing to add the selected address to the new data. Please note that the physical address autofill feature works with Google Maps and will autofill the fields when an address is selected from the list that becomes available. Postal address is an address where letters can be sent to the person who is responsible for the account. Click on the duplicate physical address button if the postal address is the same as the physical address. The information from the physical address fields will copy to the postal address fields. Next, we will look at the guarantor details, which is a person who agrees to take financial responsibility for the debtor's account if the debtor fails to pay. Guarantor initials is the first letter of each name of the person that will take financial responsibility for the account. Guarantor surname is the last name of the person that will take responsibility for the account. A mobile or landline telephone number that belongs to the person that will take financial responsibility for the account. The official identification number of the person that will take financial responsibility for the account. The ID number should be between 6 and 13 digits. For an explanation of how an RSA ID number validates, please refer to the ID number RSA glossary entry linked in this video's description. Default diary to link to is the diary to which the person who is responsible for the account and the patient will be linked by default. Every time a booking is made for a patient that is linked to the specific data, the selected diary will be used automatically. Click on the default diary to link to drop down menu to select an appropriate option. The options available will be dependent on the setup of the practice. Next, we will take a look at the patient details, which is information regarding the personal details of the patient. Click on add new patient to add a patient to the data file. The patient details section will appear where the user can add the patient information. Please note that every data has to have patient dependent even if the data is the patient. For an extensive explanation on how to add new dependents or patients, please refer to the Add New Dependents User Manual linked in this video's description. Click on the Print New Data Cover Sheet button on the bottom left corner of the screen to print the data details as a hard copy. 
For a detailed explanation of how to print the details cover sheet, please refer to the data cover sheet user manual linked in this video's description. Click on close to exit the data details screen without saving and all information that has been entered will be lost to return to the diary screen. Click on save when all the information has been added to both sections. The screen will close and return to the diary screen. Notice that the account icon on the booking on the diary will change to green.